Hey, what's good everybody? Thank you for checking me out. If this is your first time of checking out my videos, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and let's take it from me. Let's build this YouTube channel. At the same time, can you read what is in my shirt? Hashtag discover central region where they call Simpson and Cape 360. So what I'm trying to do this year is to showcase how beautiful my region is. I am from the central region of Ghana. There are 16 regions in Ghana and I am from the central region of Ghana. So this year I'm focusing on pushing and promoting my region to the world. Now, when it comes to my region, uh, Cape Coast is our capital city. And uh, in Ghana, we call central region Cape Coast the hub of tourism. Why do we call it the hub of tourism? Because every tourist that enters Ghana want to come to the Cape Coast. Why do they want to come to Cape Coast? Because of the Cape Coast castle or the dungeon, and then the Elmina dungeon or castle, and then the Kakum National Park for the canopy walkway. Now, me personally, I may agree a little bit, but I disagree on a larger scale because tourism, if we want to call Cape Coast the hub of tourism, then there should be other recreational activities aside just going to see the castles and just walking on the canopy walkway. When it comes to Cape Coast, aside visiting the castles and the canopy walkway, like I mentioned, there is absolutely nothing for you to do again. I've been talking about people coming together to set up other recreational activities. If I had a lot of money, I think I would have done it. Okay, Cape Coast is kind of getting choked. So people are moving further away from Cape Coast to certain rural areas. And I'm saying that most land in the rural areas are kind of like moderate to buy. So if we can have like five people put our monies together, I think we can set up a campsite. I think we can set up a go carton um, um, platform. I think we can set up um, um, a quad bike platform. There are a lot of things we can do outside Cape Coast. So that when we have tourists coming in Cape Coast, they can stop by this, you know, other event centers and have fun. But no, that is not it. People only come to see the thing that I've mentioned and then they go back. Some of you don't stay at all. And it is our responsibility to make sure that when tourists come to Cape Coast, they spend at least a day or two to spend their money. That is why they are here in Cape Coast. So fast forward a few days ago, I had a call from a friend. I was like, hey, Echo. The first lagoon is being put to use now. I was like, wow, let me go there and you know create a content and share with you what exactly is going on on the first lagoon. So when it comes to Cape Coast, you wouldn't only do the Kakum National Park and the castles. I think there's a speed boat and other you know big boats on the fossil lagoon the big boat i think takes uh, seven people and then the speed boats one or two people and it was awesome when we went on it and then after that i made a post on facebook and i saw a lot of people getting there to experience the speed boats and then the other thing that can be done on it so hey watch these videos i'll bring you more from cape coast discovering central region with echo simpson and cape 360 tv I'm 
You. I will make you smell my perfume. You the taste of the end for you. 